Hey friends, so I'm not gonna lie to you. The first half of 2022 was pretty rough for me. I got my heart broken. I lost a big client. I made some expensive mistakes. All of these things were somewhat unexpected and I'd be lying if I said I took any of them particularly well, at least not at first. So often when challenging, painful things happen, our first impulse is to ask why, to search for answers, and then sometimes get angry about it. I'll admit too that I did the angry thing in a major way in the past and I tended to stay in that space for a while until I figured out that really it was kind of pointless and counterproductive. After all, I could get angry all I wanted, but it wasn't going to change anything anyway. So some years ago, I stopped saying things happened to me. I started saying that things happened for me instead. I started trying to figure out what the pain from each unfortunate thing I went through was trying to teach me. And most importantly, I learned to accept this hard truth. Sometimes it is absolutely necessary for things to fall apart, even when we don't like it and when it hurts us and when it sucks and when it's unfair. And the reason for that is that sometimes you need to learn some important lessons that can only come from facing challenges and difficult situations. You need that strength that you gain from making it through them. You need that space where that thing you lost used to be to be vacant so that you can fill it with something better, something that is truly for you. Sometimes our pride and our ego will have us knocking loudly on a closed door wanting desperately for it to open. And so often that door had nothing behind it anyway. You can't get caught up in that because chances are there's another door somewhere that is open, just waiting for you to walk through it with something wonderful behind it. But how are you supposed to see that if all you're focused on is that closed door? Listen, nobody enjoys going through dark times. Nobody looks good during them either. They're messy, but it's those times that make us what we are. They shape us and prepare us for better things down the road. If you look at challenges as opportunities, if you consider that losses are not always actually losses, but transitions and evolutions, you begin to see them differently. You start to see what they are trying to teach you you see those opportunities for something better. You have to respect that shift because sometimes when everything seems like it's falling apart, it may actually be that everything is falling into place, into the place you're supposed to be in and with the people you're supposed to be with. Sometimes things just have a way of working out and they can end up being even better than you imagined. Keep those blessings in disguise in your focus. Keep believing in your own strength. Keep being brave. Keep showing up for yourself. It will pay off. Just wait and see. Chewy? Chewy agrees. That's all I have for you this week. I'll be back next week with another priority message. Chewy? Well, Chewy's a kitty of mystery, so I guess she'll let us know at a later date if she's coming back next week or not. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.